Social media and branding is still about people and stories at the end of the day. My name is Ryan Gilgerson, lead creative here at Company 119. And we want to thank you for joining us on the Coffee Cup. Today, our special guest is Sean Christie. And Sean Christie is a branding and a digital marketing expert. He works a lot in social media and he's consulted for many, many companies. And I'm sure that when we talk to Sean, he's going to tell us that same story about just how important it is to get your brand's identity out through digital marketing and through your uh, your digital footprint that you leave. So I'd like to bring him on now. Sean, we want to thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Everybody that I talk to, and I talk to a lot of people just reaching out to different companies about um, just having people on the, on the coffee cup and working with other networks and everybody that I've talked to, if I mention your name, they're like, that guy is awesome at what he does. So your reputation speaks for itself. How did you become an expert in the field of social media for businesses? So by accident, uh, <laughs> actually, like a lot of business owners get started, I actually got into Facebook. I actually just had my 11th uh, friend anniversary on Facebook here in the last week. Nice. When I was my master's at the University of Akron, my college students actually got me involved uh, with Facebook because that's just the way they wanted to communicate with me. Sure. And uh, you talked a little bit, uh, you know, you and I have been talking a little bit about my other company, Unboxability. And when my son Beckett was born, <clears throat> he had some significant health issues and had to uh, be in the hospital for a little while outside of having Down syndrome. He had some respiratory things that uh, we needed to get taken care of over at Akron Children's Hospital. Uh, my wife had just graduated with her undergrad. I was just graduating with my master's and uh, she didn't want to leave him in the hospital. So we had to figure out a way for her to be able to stay with him and get him back to health. And uh, I decided I was going to start a company. And while we were in the hospital, uh, before crowdfunding was crowdfunding, I had just put a, a little note out on Facebook. Beckett was born. He's going to be OK. But, um, you know, he's going to have some challenges ahead. And we did a little you know, fundraiser. Uh, we got like five thousand dollars overnight, and I was like, "Wow, this wow. Social thing has some application." Because I had raised hundreds of dollars, not thousands. <laughs> right. I was actually trying, and so I'm thinking, thirty seconds from a hospital bedside to be able to raise that kind of money, there's something here. And so I started researching social media companies, and I couldn't find any. Uh, and so um, I know go where people aren't, and so I just said, "You know what? We're going to start a social media marketing company." Uh, this is going to be what we do. And so I told her to quit her job. I quit my job and went all in. And that was eight years ago. We have a look back. That's an amazing story, man. What a what a great thing to come out of your son. And, and uh, we're going to talk about unboxability in just a minute because I really want to talk about that story. But that's amazing. that, And I think that's the genesis of all great businesses, right? They come from personal experience. It's what, it's what you know about. It's what you're comfortable with. It's what you research. And then that's where great businesses start. How has that experience helped you connect with other customers that come to you and want you to help them with their marketing strategy. What can you take from that experience of starting your own company that translates to the other people that you're working with? So I'm my own client, right? So it's easy for me to, I built my company uh, from zero revenue to, you know, this is my third iteration, uh, sold a few businesses sure. over the years. So I've done it strictly through social media and personal networks and just leveraging the tool. So I'm able to use my own experiences and growing my business, whether, you know, B2B, B2C, it doesn't matter. It's people to people, right? Sure. So uh, I've used the power of the networks and the vehicle of social media to do it. Uh, so it's easy for me to showcase some of the things that I've done and how it might translate into success for their business. And I think at the end of the day, you, you already kind of hit on it. It's it's um, the personal aspect of it that has been huge for me. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. And so that's been uh, an important component to how we structure our social media. What are some keys that you talk to customers about uh, when it comes to expressing and telling your story through social media? Well, the first thing is really uh, having goals for what you want to do. It's funny. I've probably done close to 700 strategies with clients since I started. And um, almost, uh, I think, three out, of the, three out of the 700 ever had anything written down about how they were going to attack social media, what they were using it for, how they were going to track it. So I think uh, that the goal setting is very important and understand that social media is just a vehicle. It's not a magic wand that does something. You still have to be able to tell a good story. You still have to be able to spend time on it, engage with people. It's not a set it and forget it. Everybody's looking for tools and technology that can just automate the process. 
Uh, and that's just not what it is. It's a very personal uh, interaction. Do you think it's do you think it's hard for companies to conceptualize making a business social media outlet feel personal? Is it hard for people to get that concept? I, th I think it is because they're so excited about their product or service. We, we, we sell the best widget. Our service is the best. We want to tell the world about it. Right. And companies take a very company centric approach to social media, whereas uh, our philosophy is very customer centric. And so it has nothing to do with the business in and of itself. It has everything to do with the customers of the business and what's important to them. And when we really look at it from the frame of the customer or client, uh, we're able to put together great content that gets them engaged, adds value to their lives and isn't a sales pitch. Sure. How do you convince companies? We're so used to seeing billboards and hearing radio ads and television ads and everybody thinks Super Bowl ad as a goal when they're thinking about <laughs> advertising, right? But right. there's so much power in the advertising that's available on social media. How do you convince people to take that advertising budget and, and start targeting it towards social media advertising versus the traditional methods that they're used to? Sure. You know, you're actually teeing me up for one of my favorite quotes right now, right? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's uh, P cash more. Attention is the new currency, right? Yeah. And you got thousands of uh, TV shows and radio shows and everything's, you know, kind of getting blasted at you. Uh, traditionally, people are filtering, rejecting that information. And so, you know, I always use the example you know, when I'm driving to a client in Cleveland, I'm going up Route 8 and um, billboards aren't billboards anymore. They're actually television screens, right? You're seeing sure. five different messages instead of one. And then TGI Fridays is sending you a text from four to five, come in for half, type, half price appetizers. You get on the turnpike, the turnpike flows telling you slow down for savings. <laughs> right. the radio telling you about laser hair removal. Um, we love that, right, Ryan? Right. <laughs> I no need here, but uh, yeah, that's a wasted message on me, Sean. <laughs> so same here, but uh, you're getting bombarded with messages from point A to point B every day. And what I love about social media is if you position the content in a customer centric way, you're able to get the attention because you can't convert attention if you don't have it in the first place. Sure. And all those traditional means really aren't grabbing attention. They're really shotgun blast approach approaches in the consumers today, I think, are, are well past that. So you really have to have the individualized conversation to be able to get attention and then do something with it. I, I love that idea. So like we said, you've now turned to, into your own customer with Unbox Ability. And I want to talk about that for a second. I did share a story with you, but um, I went on a mission trip last year to Wilmington, Delaware with a group of kids. And one of the kids was a young lady named Helen Ann. And Helen Ann was, I believe, a 14-year-old a uh, young lady with Down syndrome. And I had never really spent a lot of time with anybody that had Down syndrome. This little girl was the funniest, coolest person, person, I'm not even talking about little kid, person I've ever hung out with. Just really humbling to watch her interact and have fun all day and just have this great attitude. And her work ethic was so amazing to me how she would just if you gave her a task man she was on it she loved accomplishing things and now since i met her i've learned a lot about what people with special abilities are able to do entrepreneurship products are making things like that so what you guys have done with unbox ability is created a new channel for people with special abilities that are entrepreneurs and have their own businesses to get their market out to people, to get their product out to people in a whole new market. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing with Unboxability and what makes it so unique. Sure. So subscription boxes are hot right now. Sure. Uh, it, it, uh, I get many of them and, and we're working with a company in Akron called uh, Unbox Advantage, a uh, dimensional marketing company. And as we have been working together and just getting attention in the marketing field with these specialty boxes, I thought, wow, you know, we've got a real challenge in the, the disability community with employment because it's been legislated that these individuals have to, you know, be mainstream and work in the community. Um, and, and there's not a lot of opportunity out there for uh, people right now. And sure. companies don't know how to, uh, you know, plug this, this uh, new landscape into their company. And so you see individuals really struggling with, um, getting jobs today sure. uh, special needs and so uh another dad and i were talking and we just thought man you know there are some really special entrepreneurs out there doing really cool things from jams and coffee to t-shirts beauty products 
Uh, one of the challenges, though, is they're selling it by going to different fairs and festivals. And, you know, it's so kind of a weekend sales process. And we thought, wow, if we could really use digital marketing to, to be the vehicle for them to sell, they don't even have to travel to sell. They can, there you know, you right from home or wherever their office is, they could just sell through this channel. And we can really be the megaphone to help tell their stories. And, and the idea is uh, just to be the marketing channel for them and, and take that component out let them focus on what they love and let us use our specialty to help tell their stories. And hopefully people find some new products that they love and they continue to order directly from the entrepreneurs. So we're just opening doors and sure. creating opportunities uh, for these entrepreneurs. What an awesome idea. Tell me about some of the products that one might get in a box if they open up one of those boxes. Sure. So we've, we've got a lot of really cool ones. Bath bombs. Uh, my girls love bath bombs. So sure. that was one of the favorites at our house. Um, there's uh, lotions, there's lip balms, uh, coffees. Dreamers Coffee uh, is in the Cleveland area, and it's our friend Alex Kowalski's company. Uh, and he's a, a newer entrepreneur that has recently graduated and has decided to get into the entrepreneurial field. Um, we've got some jams. We've got a, a group that does popcorn. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff. And, and we're trying to really stay uh, as much in Northeast Ohio on the front end of that but we've got a whole list of entrepreneurs all across the country that we can leverage. Part of the hope and dream is as we uh, start to get get success and help these entrepreneurs that we're able to foster a culture of, you know, what we're calling inclusive entrepreneurship to uh, help other people start companies instead of going out and trying to find a job. Sure. Um, why don't we help you start a company and do what you love every single day instead of searching for a job? Cause you're spending the same amount of effort, sure. but in this sense you get to be your own boss and, the reason that we love the the name Unboxability is not only are you unboxing the uh, the products every month when you get them, but we're also taking people uh, with disabilities out of the disability box and showcasing them in a new light. That is so cool. Such a great idea. Like you said, the, the box subscriptions are so big right now, and to be able to tap into that and give these uh, these people an opportunity to get seen by some People that might not normally have been able to put eyes on what they're doing is incredible. So I really I love the idea for it. Unbox abilities. Want to make sure you support that. So listen, you, you guys were featured on Fox Eight. Now the coffee cup. I'm guessing. What are you doing tonight? Fallon or Kimmel? What do you got tonight? Yeah, uh, Fallon's tomorrow. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. I'm sure he's got a great game lined up. You're gonna have a blast on there. Say what's up to the roots for me. I will. So, Thanks. Sean, you do so many great things. Um, you know, you, you also speak to people and do consulting. You know, you speak to organizations and groups. If somebody wants to reach out to you and have you come out and, uh, and talk to their company, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, the website. We have a, uh, a speaking page on the website. It showcases some of the different groups, nonprofit groups, uh, national groups, uh, corporate speaking engagements that we've done. So Sean Christie. Dot com is the best way to go. We've got a speakers page. It's got my bio and, and a lot of the different topics that we work with on there. Awesome. Sean, I just want to thank you so much for coming on, talking to a little, talking to us a little bit about uh, telling a company's story through their social media. And then, of course, the great story with Unbox Abilities. We'll be keeping tabs on you, and I wish you the best of luck with the, uh, the whole uh, organization and everything you're doing over there. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you reaching out and having me on. Absolutely. So we want to thank Sean Christie for joining us and we want to thank you for watching Coffee Cup like you do each and every day. And guess what, folks? You just learn more about telling your story through social media before you finish your first cup of coffee than your competition will all day. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon.